My name is Malik. I've got some exciting updates for you about our Sprint Nav Mini and I wanted to share them with you. These advances extend the capability of our Sprint Nav Mini and strengthen our Sprint Nav family offering. Sprint Nav Mini is now available in a full navigator version for your marine robotic platforms, which harness an integrated INS, DVL and pressure sensor all within one unit. The first clear benefit of Sprint Nav Mini is its size. If I compare Sprint Nav Mini with a standalone DVL and a standalone Mini INS over here, you can see the clear packaging benefits of using a Sprint Nav Mini as opposed to installing a separate DVL and an INS. Now, operationally, there are other efficiency and cost savings that can be made by integrating Sprint Nav Mini. The system, unlike other solutions, comes pre-calibrated, which provides turnkey navigation straight out of the box. There's no need for complicated and timely calibration procedures and processes. On the subject of DVL, the DVL on this unit has a maximum altitude of 200 meters, and that's a lot of altitude for an instrument with this kind of diameter. If we take a closer look at the accuracy that can be achieved, the critical statistic for an INS is the accumulated navigation error. We measure it as a percentage error relative to the distances traveled. When performing a typical survey, the navigation error is just 0.05% of the distance traveled. That means there'd be an accumulated navigation error of just five meters over a 10 kilometer survey with no external aiding at all. That's an amazing amount of performance for such a small instrument. There are even options for where the connectors are on the unit. We have both the option of top mounted connectors as you can see here, or for maybe a more low profile installation, we've got the option having the connectors on the side here, which is new, particularly maybe relevant for small AUVs and small ROVs. With all Sprint Nav Mini navigators, there's an embedded web UI that you can use to integrate, to set up, to communicate and to monitor as well which means it's going to be much easier to, to perform those kinds of activities without installing separate software. Now the final benefit I want to leave you with is this. As with all sprint navs, all of the raw sensor data from the onboard pressure, inertial measurement unit and the DVL are all logged on board so that they can be extracted later, they can be looked at for quality control or they could be post-processed to improve the navigation after the mission itself. Now we've covered a lot in this short video, so if you have any questions, please get in touch with us via the website or any one of our regional offices. Thank you very much for watching.